Hey guys, uh, it's, it's John, and I wanted to uh, throw a quick video together and show you the uh, storefront slash Octoblue integration workflow um, that we actually have working now. I wanted to kind of put this quick video together and show you how it's working and some of the pieces of it, and then uh, we can maybe sync up and have a, a quick uh, go to meeting after it just to discuss it more and then how we're going to publish it and stuff like that. So uh, just a quick, quick little overview. Here's the uh, Octoblue workflow. That we're going to use so the the flow is actually um, we we trigger the event when a user asks for access to an application that gets then sent to a quote-unquote managers email for them to approve or deny the request that's done through an intermediate uh, web page that will then kick off the same octobly workflow um, that either will approve or deny the request uh, this here is an application that's running on a storefront server uh, that's basically monitoring the storefront database to uh, listen for any quote unquote pending applications. If it finds one, it will then uh, create some JSON data and then send the request up to Octoblue for the workflow. So that's kind of the brief overview. So let's kind of actually see it in action. So we're here we're logged into that same storefront server. We have the storefront uh, or the workflow plugin uh, installed. So if we click on calculator here, you can see we get the request. Uh, option. If we click request and jump back to Octoblue, uh, you'll see it execute here in a little bit. And there we go. So we just ran the request workflow um, and sent the email. Uh, and then if we jump over to my uh, email here, you can see that we got a workflow approval email from Octoblue. Uh, we click on it. We actually have a, a somewhat nice kind of, hey, greetings from storefront slash Octoblue, uh, we're, we're putting in the user as requested access to the particular application they clicked on. Um, and then you can click on this link to approve it or deny it. We're actually host, hosting this up in the, in the cloud so anybody can kind of see it. So if we go ahead and click on that, uh, you'll see uh, we have the approve or deny piece. We'll actually click approve and then jump back over to the workflow so you can actually see it happen. So we click on approve jump to the workflow, should execute here in a second. There it goes. Um, and then what actually happens is it sends a message back to this application that's listening for messages from Octoblue, um, which then sets uh, the flag for the application to uh, be available to the user. So if we click back here in the receiver and refresh this guy, uh, you can then see when we click on it, we'll actually launch uh, the calculator application. So that's kind of a, a brief overview on um, kind of the different systems and how we actually have the workflow uh, working within Storefront and Octoblue. Um, I'll set up a quick go to meeting so we can talk about it a little bit more if you guys are interested and figure out what the plan is for maybe um, posting it on the website. Maybe Richard, have you? Um, blogging about it or whatever so uh, that's kind of what we got so hope you guys enjoyed it um and then i'll set up a meeting soon thanks